Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all and all three leagues are gonna start from tomorrow so I brought you a video about top teams that you can use in Great League in this season and two weeks ago I brought you a video about the cores you can use, the best cores you can use in the Great League and you can go check that out too, that will also help you a lot in this season Great League and yeah, so we'll be talking about the top teams that you can use in the Great League so without any further ado, let's start the video The number one team is going to be Gligar in the lead and Chargerbug and Lantern. Now this is a pretty safe team except it struggles a little bit against Alteria but there are a lot of ways to tackle that situation and this is my personal favorite team that I made so that is why I kept it number one. And yeah these, these Pokemons are the best in the Go Battle League Great League. Well I've kept Lantern and Chargerbug at the back. One electric typing is weak against grass and one electric typing is not weak against grass so they were pretty cool for me and I got Glagar in the lead which can handle those fighters as well as those Bastiodons and pretty much a lot of stuffs. And this team's another core breaker is going to be Dragonair or the Shadow Dragonair but yeah if you find Dragonair in the lead just uh, like play the shield game and try to land one aerial ace into the uh, Dragonair and there are a lot of ways to play. Plus you can always tank one body slam or aqua tail into your lantern and yet there are a lot of ways to play against that. Overall this team is pretty safe to play and this is my number one team for this current season. I've been playing this team for like past two seasons and this will pretty much work very good in this season as well. And team number two is going to be Shadow Dragonair, Lantern and Lickitung. So yeah, this is a very very famous and popular team, a lot of people are using this team, that is why I kept this in number 2. So when you lead Shadow Dragonair, you try your best to win the switch, win the lead, and then align your Pokemon uh, at the back, that is going to be the bulk powerhouse, uh, Lantern and Lickitung at the back. That is pretty much the game style of this team, and this team is going to perform extra good in this season as well as there is going to be like a Paraligator and you've got one electric type and Dragonair does good against the water types and Lickitung resists those shadow claws. Now it's going to be a little bit hard with uh, Bastiodon but then again Dragonair is no straight loss against Bastiodon. Keep that in mind. I've stated that in earlier videos as well. The team number three is going to be Skarmory, Vigoroth and Whiskash. Now I've kept Shadow Whiskash, I'll talk about that later. But this team is the OG team and this team has been here for like two years in every season of the Go Battle League Great League. This team is uh, very good and safe. Vigoroth is more likely to become your all-time safe swap. And I've kept Shadow Whiskash because 20% less defense and 20% more attack. For the bulky Pokemon like Whiskash, being Shadow doesn't make that big of a difference for his defense stat. Uh, so that is why I kept Shadow Whiskash in this team. And if you want me to use this team and make the video, please comment. I'll do that and that will help you guys a lot. So yeah, this OG team is our team number 3. So the team number 4 is going to be Altaria, Lantern and Skarmory. This is kind of an ABA style team with Altaria in the lead and Skarmory and Lantern at the back. Now you might be thinking this team is very very weak against Bastidon, but if you find Bastidon in the lead you can just go with Skarmory or you can go with Lantern but I recommend going with Skarmory. Lantern can do pretty fine against Bastidon and I've worn against Bastidon teams many many times with this team and with Skarmory you're not doing the resisted damage like before, it's got Steel Wing. Uh, it is a neutral damage against the Bastidon now. So yeah, you can work with this team and if you find like uh, Azumarill in the lead against your uh, Altaria then also you go with uh, safe swap your Skarmory, not Lantern, you don't go with the direct counter. So yeah, if you find Dragonair in the lead, you can just shield once and win the, sweet, win the lead and if you find something like Lantern in the lead against your Altaria, Altaria is flying but it's also part Dragon type. So those uh, electric attacks are going to be neutral so you can do pretty good against a lantern in the lead as well. And over and all, except for Bastodon, this, this team is going to be like uh, pretty good in the Go Battle League Great League this season. So team number 5 is going to be a toxic team that is going to be Bastodon in the lead and Shadow Victory Bell and Wigglytuff at the back. 
Now, I know I'm putting the toxic team in this list, but hey, we're talking about uh, best teams in the Great League for this season, right? And in this season, there is going to be Shadow or non-variant of Four Alligator, which uh, our backline is going to do pretty good. Uh, Shadow Victory Bell is going to like destroy it with its fast move against Four Alligator, and Wigglytuff is going to resist those Shadow Claws. It needs to land those uh, charge moves, and the charm damage is going to do pretty good for Wigglytuff and well this backline is kind of weak against Skarmory so we've got Bastidon in the lead and kind of weak uh, with the steel and ground typings as well so uh, this team but you can work it out with a little bit of gameplay and plus a lot of people use toxic team to climb in the later board so keep that in mind this might help you a lot so another team is going to be Cresselia, Lickitung and Polyrath uh, this team a little bit struggles against Registeel, but a little bit of team effort and extra effort we can win against Registeel teams as well. Uh, a little bit weak against uh, Skarmory as well, but uh, you can do uh, good with this team because Skarmory doesn't have like uh, the fast move pressure against uh, Polyrath. Polyrath can do pretty fine unless Skarmory lands the sky attack. It needs to land the charge move, that is the point here, and uh, Lickitung and Skarmory is a neutral matchup. And another Pokemon is going to be uh, Altaria for this team, is going to be a little bit of trouble, but you got Moonblast near Cresselia, which can handle that, and uh, Ice Punch in your Polyrath, so you'll be in a pretty good spot, and plus Altaria and Lickitung is going to be like a <coughs> neutral scenario. And yeah, this team works pretty good, uh, and I've tried this team in previous uh, season, and this team got me really good results. So yeah, our team number 6 is going to be Cresselia, Lickitung, and Polyurath. So the last team for this list is going to be Charger Bug, Fur Alligator, and Lantern, Charger Bug in the lead. And you can call this ABB or even ABA, because uh, it's going to be double electric and double water. So Charger Bug in the lead is not going to be weak against Grass, but our backline is going to be weak against Grass. So yeah, you, you just need to bait those Grass out. And for Alligator is most likely to be become your all-time safe swap in this team. And if you find something like a Dragonair in the lead, which Charger Bug is going to be weak against, uh, you just need to swap out. You can swap out into your for Alligator. And uh, if you find like Bastidon, you need to swap out. If you find something like Skarmory, you don't need to swap out. So the main theme of this team is going to be ABA and a lot of scenarios ABB. So yeah, you can run this team either ways. Just uh, need a little bit of like uh, three or four battles of practice and you're going to do very good with this team. In fact, this team is really, really amazing. And yeah, so those were the best teams in my opinion for me. Uh, in the great league this season i hope you like this content and please comment if you like my contents it will help me a lot and please do subscribe the channel thank you guys